So now let's talk about cornice returns. There's several criteria that need to be met for a roof to be identified as a cornice return. It has to be on a gable end, has to be connected to a roof that's at a 90 degree angle, and it has to be under a certain width and under a certain length for it to be a cornice return. A cornice strip has to meet those same qualifications except for the length. It is connected to two roofs, one on each side, or over a certain length. Um, so cornice returns, if I was to replace a cornice return or a face that is connected to a cornice return, I'd select that connected face, replace that face, and the cornice return would actually come along for the ride. So anytime I replace or do the activity or the quality, that cornice return is going to also be included in that action. However, if I do it from the cornice return and just apply the material or just change the answer to a cornice return, that disconnects the question from the connected face. So it's very important if you want to change the corners or turn along with the connected face, you can do that. The corners or turn will just come along for the ride. So a cornice strip is going to behave a little bit different in that it's connected to two faces, so it's going to act like an independent roof face. So it has to be selected and the appropriate actions have to be applied, just like you would any other roof face. So let's reset the answers there, and let's work through that cornice strip and the cornice return along with replacing an entire roof. So I have the entire roof selected. I'm going to hit replace that roof. These two cornice strips came along for the ride. However, because cornices strips are in their own category, they are going to have a multiple button. More often than not, the, the multiple button will be applied with cornices and both cornice strips. You can select the uh, selection tab to the left, and that's going to change my selection to any object that has that specific answer or material type. Well, the other way you can get around the multiple button is selecting the multiple button itself and then changing all of the selected items to a particular material group or quality. So I can change the quality on the cornices to average and on the roof face and then that's going to complete the estimate for the material type. For the cornices, the other thing to remember, um, the line item for cornices is going to be a labor item. It's not going to be, we're going to separate and add the material for the cornice in the primary item. Um, for instance, for replacement of the roof. The cornices are going to be calculated in that square footage. So the labor item is going to be applied to a specific cornice. And cornice strips and cornice returns, there's going to be using slightly different, um, but for the most part, it's the, going to be the same. Right now, it's a cornice strip. It's a different, uh, it's a different uh, pricing algorithm that takes care of cornice strips.